we already studied in vitro fertilization or test tube baby so if in in vitro fertilization or test tube baby fails what we will do so we should go for another method correct that is the third one that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection intra cytoplasmic sperm injection shortly called as isci in that method okay we already studied in vitro fertilization less than 5 million sperm in that method even 50000 even 50000 sperm is enough 50000 sperm are sometimes the question can be asking or for as a doctor you have to know even one sperm even one sperm is enough to form a fertilization here what it's going happen exactly means this is the ovo we are taking the ovo and then one ovum one sperm it will come one ovum one sperm it will form the fertilization from the fertilization when the in vitro fertilization will fail we have to move to the intracytoplasmic sperm injection so now we are going to conclude the things we already studied the unknown fertility for unknown fertility i already told you um, super ovulation plus we have to do iui that is intrauterine insemination so we have to try nearly for unknown fertility for unknown fertility we have to try nearly 6 iui if 6 time 6 iui means 6 time we have to do iui if 6 time I, iui will fails we have to move in vitro fertilization so repeated fertilization failure i am trying ivf also then also the fertilization will can't uh, do means it will repeated fertilization failure repeated fertilization failure we have to move ic si so in iui we have to know main thing iui in iui i am going to do the sperm count 5 to 15 millions 5 to 15 millions and here there is we have to confirm no tubal potency there is no problem in the fallopian tubes in vitro fertilization we already studied if you have problem in the fallopian tube or the sperm count less than 5 millions so ius we already studied if the failure of in vitro fertilization we have to move the ic yes i that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection now the next thing now the next thing see in that topic artificial reproductive technology particularly they are asking more questions iui they are asking more question from the intrauterine insemination that is intrauterine insemination donor when the when we are going to do the method means at what time we are going to take sperm not from the husband from the other people or from the sperm bank okay first thing genetic factor genetic factor genetic factor means we already know if we are going to do fertilization from the husband and the mother and if the husband have any uh, genetical problem not only uh, is problem uh, from the father side family problem means we can't going to do this method so we are going to take the donor of iui second thing poor people why here specifically mentioned poor people means because Uh, in vitro fertilization and the intra cytoplasmic sperm injection that both method are very costly so in poor people they they don't have money to do that process so in that poor people we are going to do the taking sperm from the other person or uh, the sperm bank okay now the next thing azoospermia azoospermia here i am not mentioning aspermia that's we have to attention very carefully aspermia aspermia means absence of the sperm 
here i am mentioning azospermia azospermia means the sperm production is good but the sperm will not come out from the testis that is the main thing problem in the testis so in that condition we are going to do see if someone having azospermia i am not going to take uh, sperm from the uh, sperm bank or anyone else okay first i am going to do percutaneous endodermal <coughs> sperm aspiration percutaneous endodermal sperm aspiration i'm going to do yes sperm retrieval technique by using this method i'm going to do sperm retrieval technique if this method will fails then i am go to to iui donor so these three things very important when we are using the donor for iui so first thing is genetic factor second thing is for people and third is azospermia condition in that azospermia we are going to do percutaneous endodermal sperm aspiration shortly we can called p e yes okay and then if the sperm retrieval technique will fails we are going to use the donor for iui intra uterine insemination is the best method and the cheapest method okay these all the topics about artificial reproductive technology so lot of question asking from every year so please study this topic very important hope you understand this video if you like this video